Okay, good day. I'm Jimmy Ellis. I'm with SGS in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And I'm going to uh, do a quick demo of uh, manual UT of uh, plastic pipe joints, HDPE material, high density polyethylene. Uh, I've got a low frequency transducer on a 70 degree wedge of HDPE. And uh, just to give you an idea of how this looks, the end of this wedge is represented by the tall signal on the screen. Here's uh, some material with some side drill holes, uh, 3 16 in diameter. Here's a 150 deep side drill hole, and it peaks up near 150 deep on the screen. The screen is a one inch deep screen, so zero depth is over here. Each major division, if you can see them, is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 thousands deep. It's a one inch deep screen. So here's a, the 150 hole, peaks up near 150. Here's the 350 deep hole, peaks up near 350 on the screen. And here's a 450 deep hole, peaks up out near 450. This is a very sensitive technique. I also have these side drill holes. They're only 1 32nd of an inch in diameter. If we calculated this out, uh, I think they're less than half a wavelength. You're not supposed to be able to detect these, but Here's a 132nd inch side drill hole, 200 thousands deep, 300 thousands deep, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right here, a 132nd inch side drill hole, 400 thousands deep, still shows up pretty well. Okay, here's the piece of HDPE. I'll start out by showing what good, what a good fusion butt joint looks like. Okay, this is an area that's unflawed. Can't find anything. Where this yellow line starts, there's a flaw. As I come around, boom, there it is. And I can follow that flaw around quite a ways till it stops at the yellow line over here. first used this technique I was brought into a room with about 20 or 30 joints. I UT'd them all like this. I found five or six joints that were bad. We cut straps out of them, did a bend test on them. They all broke. The flaws were all there. They all started and stopped as I said they would. And I actually did a job in the field with this and it worked pretty well, although the field joints were, were not flawed that I looked at. Uh, this this joint here that I'm working on, I think it's a four inch, it's 425 wall. Uh, this technique I think would work with much thicker material. Uh, I've got a gigantic low frequency phased array probe that I could put on a wedge like this. I'm sure that would be very spectacular. Uh, this technique is, was a pleasure to use. It really works great. And uh, if you're interested in this, give me a call. Thanks.